Within each property, you can see there's a Web Details tab. Within this page, you can amend your property short description and also your property main description. If you have an agency level account, you also have additional fields, location information and changeover day notes. If you use our API feed, you also have additional fields. By standard, we have the second description field. And if you require additional fields for extra information about your property, you can add these into the custom fields section. You have the freedom to add as many custom fields into here as you need. And you can add these by going to your properties menu and you'll see custom fields. Within the booking summary tab, this allows you to add some property specific information that will sit within the booking summary. And that's the summary that gets sent to the guest as soon as they've submitted a booking online. And that's, as I say, is property specific information. The custom calendar text area allows you to add text to sit above the availability calendars on your website. An example of this is here. You can see we've added some text sitting at the top of the calendars and this will allow us to catch the customer's attention. Within this page, you can set the text to be a particular size, font, color, and further down in this field, you have the option to set this to only display for a limited period of time. Photos. This is where you would upload all of your property photos. The main photo of the default photo within here is the main photo that will be used for your property. So this should be the most attractive photo of the property that you have. Having many photos for your property and high quality is a great selling point. Recommended for larger images, we say that the pixel dimension should be set to 3840 pixels wide. And you can set this within your admin menu within general details. We recommend that you set the sizing for your photos before you upload them into your account. This means that you don't need to re-upload the photos at a later stage if you decide to change the sizing. If you do change the sizing of your photos later on, you will be prompted within admin general details to re-upload all of your photos to make sure that it can be regenerated at this increased resolution size. Amenities are recommended for people who have more than eight properties within their account. And this allows your guests to search by different things. And you can set within your properties menu under amenities, all of the searchable items you would like your guests to have the option to narrow their search results down by. And that can be number of bedrooms, facilities within the property, or even a location. To enable an amenity for a property, you just need to tick the amenity and that is all you need to do. You can upload a property specific document within this area. This may be a floor plan of the property or directions. You will see next to the save button that you can attach this to the online booking summary. That means as soon as the guest has booked on the website, this document will automatically be attached to that online booking summary that gets sent by Super Control. It's up to you if you would like that to be sent at that time. If you don't select this box, the documents will remain within the account and only be sent to the guest when you decide to attach them within the email correspondence. If you would like to use a map on your property page, we have the map area under each property. Within here, you can set by clicking the little house icon, dragging and dropping to the specific location. However, 
Within the settings page of your property, if you've entered the property address, that will pull through within here and set the location for you automatically. Options and extras are any extras you would allow your guests to add to their booking or any extras that you want to be added to the booking automatically, perhaps a booking fee. Now, within your properties menu, under booking options, this is where you will set the extras that you're going to allow. Now, within this area, you can set globally the properties that are allowed this extra, the cost and so on. However, within each property, you will find the options extras tab there and you can set individually if you So to enable an extra, you must ensure that there's a customer price, that you set the maximum for the property to be at least one, and also that your date range that you're allowing at certain times of the year, if you wish, or all year, all round, if that's what you would like. Remember that all the advanced settings for your extras are within the booking options page and within here this is where you can upload an image, descriptions and set more restrictor requirements as well. The availability tab under each property gives you a nice annual view of how the property is doing. You can see any bookings throughout the year and within this page by hovering your mouse over the coloured squares that show the booking, you can go in and look at that booking in more detail. The notes field under each property allows you to put an internal booking note. This means that whenever you add a booking manually, that that booking text that you've added within here will sit at the top of the page, alerting you to remember to do whatever that note says. Likewise, if a booking comes in from the website, that note will display at the top of the booking the same. Just like the web details where you can add text above the booking calendars, the internal booking notes can be date limited as well.